So with that, let's get a check on current conditions from meteorologist Brooke Laser. She's standing by with that. Yeah, good morning. We are still, of course, watching every last update with Francine moving inland and that increase in strength is starting to rapidly happen. So right now, still 90 mile per hour winds, but the pressure is falling and the hurricane hunters are flying around to get us more information. Want to go over parish by parish impacts and what exactly we're anticipating. The primary concerns, as Peyton's mentioned all morning, will be for surge and then the wind gust as well as those heaviest rainfall amounts and where they set up when the core moves inland in the next six plus hours. So rush your preparations today to completion. You've got just a little bit of time left. Want to start on the North Shore. We are going to have an issue with, as Peyton mentioned, the river level concern. So as far as rainfall amounts, three to six inches, you could have that isolated eight to 12 if the core moves inland and right up through our North Shore parishes in St. Tammany. Wind gusts by then will pretty much be happening last in the viewing area as the storm traveling further north, but we could see them from 50 to 70 miles an hour. Surge anywhere from four to six feet. That's of course Lake Pontchartrain. So let's get into Metro New Orleans. I know a lot of people really intrigued by how much wind exactly we're going to see, especially compared to some previous storms. Looks right now as though our gusts will be anywhere from 50 to 70 miles an hour. So your sustained wind amounts should be tropical storm force 30 to 40 mile per hour winds themselves. We did up the surge a little bit anywhere from three to six feet. Again, you could see four to six in Lake Pontchartrain and then off towards the west. On the eastern side of this, we're going to have improvements, so some good news there. As far as the flood concern, just going to depend on where those heaviest bands set up. So as we get into the afternoon, we'll be watching for any potential last minute shifts in the track. But as we head towards our river parish locations, three to six inches in rainfall amounts, again, possibly isolated eight to 12 inch amounts. You could see that foot of rain set up in the river parishes with the core moving inland and heaviest amounts right alongside it. The gust should be anywhere from 60 to 80 miles an hour with that surge potential again, somewhere between about three and five feet. Down towards Napoleonville, Donaldsonville could have higher amounts and that's where we're going to be watching for our Bayou Parish impacts, which will be the largest in terms of surge. So we've got these hurricane warnings in red flying across Terrebonne as well as Lafourche, and a lot of these areas still dealing with Ida impacts and damage. If you happen to be in a structure that's not safe for riding out a tornado or a hurricane, please relocate. Think about shelter information. We've been consistently bringing you all night tonight. As far as rainfall here, we could definitely see some extreme numbers because of that core as it moves inland and then the northern portion of the core as well. So maybe 8 to 12 inches. Now that's over an extended period of time, but that's still a lot of rain in an already saturated area. And then on top of that, you want to think about the concern for some of those pine trees and for trees that will fall a bit more easily with additional winds. So this is where your winds are going to be the strongest as a result of that core moving inland anywhere from 70 to 90 miles an hour. Not out of the question that we could see a 100 mile per hour wind gust as well. So surge amounts here definitely going to be the highest of the viewing area somewhere between about five and 10 feet. When you think about how tall you are, that's certainly your height and then some. So make sure that you rush all of those preparations to completion. Finally, in our coastal area, still that tropical storm warning. That's why you see the orange here. Rainfall amounts similar on the eastern side gust anywhere from 60 to 80 miles an hour. Here we do include that surge differential from the western side of the river to the eastern, and you're going to see a little bit more of a surge on the western side, so something to keep in mind. And then finally, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, a little bit better off. A lot of people with homes over towards past Christiane, Kiln Bay, St. Louis. Here the surge amounts are lower, 3 to 5 feet. Wind gusts will also be a little bit less intense, 40 to 50 miles an hour with the rainfall that's somewhere between two and four inches. So we talked about this yesterday. If you're still thinking of leaving, you do have a little bit more time. You don't want to go north because you'll still be in the path. As we've mentioned, the time frame on this is going to be tomorrow and a Friday. The storm will be in Memphis as we head towards the weekend. So you don't want to drive north and then still be dealing with residual impacts, even if it's just a tropical storm at that point. Always best off to the west and then the east far beyond the Florida Panhandle won't see any impacts, but you still have that tornado threat off towards even Pensacola in the panhandle. So something to keep in mind.